Hi, it's Jason from Coastal Asbestos Removal here, your asbestos expert. Today, we're just gonna cover off a quick topic, so let's get into it. Today's topic is the 10 square meter rule, or as I like to call it, the 10 square meter disaster. In every state of Australia, except for Canberra, I think, which is territory, so it's technically not a state, you're allowed to remove less than 10 square meters of asbestos without a ticket. Now, the legislation basically says something like, um, and a non-licensed uh, individual can remove less than 10 square meters or less of asbestos without an asbestos removal qualifications, but it must be done under control conditions. The second half of that sentence is the bit that everybody drops. That's that guy that's at your house, that's the plumber, the builder, the tiler, the dodgy bathroom reno guy, and they're not all dodgy, but the ones that are standing there telling you and saying, yeah, we can do that. You don't need a license to remove a small piece of asbestos. That's correct. But in Queensland, you need a license to remove any professional quantity of asbestos. So that means if you charge for it. So if I'm gonna remove that piece of asbestos behind your bathtub and I charge you for that, I must have a license. It doesn't matter whether it's 10 square meters or not. The 10 square meter rule is for incidental things like plumbers that have to cut pipes out of the way to do their job. Other trades that have to remove maybe a section of a wall to get access to something. It's not for that sheet in your bathroom that they're gonna charge you three or $400 for. Because I can tell you now, you are not gonna be safe in your house after that's done. They don't have the training. They don't have the control measures and they certainly don't have the safety culture within their business to ensure that your family is safe. So next time you hear somebody say, oh yeah, it's less than 10 square meters, we can do that, no worries. Ask them, are you trained? What sort of equipment are you using? What sort of insurances have you got? Because I can guarantee you they don't have insurances and if anything goes wrong, they're just off, they're gone. You'll never hear from them again. So that's today's top tip. I hope, that, uh, I hope that helps you out and um, clears up some of the myth around the 10 square meter disaster. Till next time.